Hi guys and a very warm welcome to Axing Anxiety in 10 with Dr M from the Pinnacle Practice London Harley Street, Nottingham and on location and in association with my wonderful colleague Dr Niall Mack and the guys from Book Hub Publishing and the Doc Check in Galway Island. Uh, today's theme we're talking about anxiety around exams especially in the time of the corona crisis which we're all out of our comfort zones in one form or another at the moment. So we're going to be looking at a good 10 minutes of five top tips in terms of how to help you around exam anxiety at this time. So the themes are going to cover the uh, big picture that we're going to look at because um, all the details are what creates anxiety in terms of all the overwhelm. So we're going to be looking at that and our focus. Uh, then a technique to deal with state control so you don't feel any any negative emotion. Then we're going to be looking at brainwave frequency, how we can lower brainwaves in order to get into a more relaxed state. So again, there's no anxiety. Then the fourth theme, we're going to be looking at visualization and how that can actually help to um, reduce anxiety and actually get the outcome that you really want. Uh, and then we're going to be looking at your time and space and how that can be best utilized to induce and create endorphins, which are feel good chemicals that actually dilute the adrenaline that causes your anxiety as well. So five top tips there that are going to help um, bust out your anxiety. So let's get started with our first theme. Now that's the big picture. So as I said, overwhelm is really what creates and causes anxiety because we have so many details just coming into our mind that causes basically like an explosion of panic and that awful feeling that you can get with anxiety. So to avoid that, we can actually look at the big picture, which I mean in terms of a higher purpose. What's more important than the actual problem itself? So for example, why are you doing what you are doing. So that really focuses the mind in a positive direction. So it flips things um, around. So you might be thinking all the what ifs, what if I don't get the grades I want? What if I have to take my predicted grades and I'm not happy with those? So all the concerns you have at the moment, forget them, it doesn't matter. Let's go to the big picture and that's really getting to where you want to be. So that might be a certain career, it might be a job you want to go to, um, whatever it is, it doesn't matter because you will find a way to do that and to get there. So whether you have to sit the exam, whether you have to take predicted grades, whether you need to um, contest those, whether you need to defer a year, it's not the end of the world, guys, because we're all in this corona crisis together. We're all having to deal with different situations, things happening at the moment. So if we just go to the big picture, what are your goals? What are you really wanting in life? Um, that you can then focus on, that then you can start to think about the solutions in terms of how to get those rather than worrying and panicking about all the details. So always think to the bigger picture, the higher purpose, what you really want. So a way to do that is actually get a big piece of paper, put goals in the middle, as you can see, um, an example of what I've done and what you actually want. So stick that up in your bedroom. And so you have a constant focus there of actually what you really want so the bigger picture of it so it almost blows out the problem of what you're actually worrying about the things that may be triggering your anxieties so you can keep in mind the positive focus the mind purely on what you actually want to happen what can you do rather than what can't you do because all what we focus on, we get and we attract to us. So it's important that your focus is really on the positive things that you actually want. And as I said, that big picture, keep looking at the overall everything that you want, because this corona crisis will end and you will get your goals. And it's important you just focus on what they actually are. And then you can do whatever it takes to get them. There's always a solution and there's always something we can come up with. So once our mind is in the right direction and we focus on the things that we want rather than what we don't want, and we look at the big picture of that and we keep in mind our goals all the time, then we'll get those, we'll attract them to us and it will totally blow out the overwhelm. So that is anxiety hack number one. Now, 
I'm out of my comfort zone so I've got to run through these quickly and get them done in a 10 minute block so that's my uh, task today so the second one will go quickly if you do have any questions you can always email me um, and clarify anything that you need to and all these techniques and everything that I talk about is in my book out of your comfort zone so second anxiety hack is about state control now this is a technique so it avoids you having any negative emotion because it involves our eye patterns and where we actually look and go to access information in the mind um, we can actually make sure we don't access any negative emotion so what I'm going to teach you will um, blow out any negative emotion because um, anxiety is really just a fear so that's a negative emotion so if we get rid of that then we get rid of anxiety so all you have to do is keep practicing this technique now you can use it when you're revising because it helps to learn and process the information so the information goes in easily and effortlessly um, you can use it when you're actually in an exam um, or you can use it anytime that you're feeling anxious to just calm down and block the negative emotion and get into a nice relaxed state so I'm going to run through this very quickly I'll do it as relaxing as I possibly can um, but you can find the techniques in the book as well so I need you guys to focus on a spot above eye level must be above eye level so you take your eyes upward so choose a spot on the wall above eye level notice everything about it the size the color the shape the purpose just zone into that spot really get relaxed zone into that spot and as you do that taking a really deep breath in through your nose to fill your lungs to maximum capacity taking in all that oxygen which oxygenates all your cells and blood vessels so that really helps you to think and helps the mind more clear so taking all that oxygen and just exhale out through your mouth with a nice deep slow breath so there you go just keep doing that in a continuous cycle breathing in deep through your nose and out through your mouth in a nice continued cycle just so it begins to sound like the rolling of the ocean nice and relaxed all while you're still focused on that spot above eye level just zoning nicely into that feeling nice and relaxed as you breathe deeply taking in all that oxygen sounding like the rolling of the ocean and you can feel your shoulders just begin to drop as you just begin to relax more and more deeply there keeping focused all the time on that spot above eye level just melting in to that spot above eye level now as you're still deep breathing and you're focused on that spot above eye level begin to notice at the same time what's in your peripheral vision that's 90 degrees either side of you so while you're still focused on that spot above eye level what's in your side vision what can you also notice at the same time in your side vision just feeling nice and relaxed there keeping your breathing going just staying in that state feeling nice and calm and do that for about five or ten minutes thinking of all nice things thinking of the last time you did really well in your exams or a test or the last time you felt really good and really confident about learning, just feeling nice and relaxed there. And when you're ready, then you just bring your eyes back down to eye level and you just come back into the room and then just carry on about your normal business, feeling more calm and centered and relaxed. And whenever your eyes are in that position, so above eye level, and you're focused on something, but at the same time you're noticing what's in your side vision, your eyes can't access negative emotion. So that's a great state to be in. And it's also a great trance-like state, so you can absorb more information easily. Okay, so um, let's quickly move on to anxiety hack number three, which is about brainwave frequency. So when you're in a stress state, your brainwaves are going something like that, very busy, very much um, lots of activity going on there. However, that's causing lots of anxiety and that's an anxious state. So you'd really need to lower your brainwaves to be in a more relaxed, calm state. So for example, when you're sleeping, your brainwaves are more gentle. 
and calm. However, you don't want to be in a sleeping state. So we want something like a, what we call an alpha theta brainwave, um, which we can align with music. So it takes you down to a relaxed state. So if you um, you can find it online or you can purchase brainwave music, um, a really good one I give resources in the book for um, is at, it can be found at kellyhowell.com. Um, but as I say, they're all in the books and it explains in detail what I mean by um, altering your brain waves. But if you can alter them to that state where you optimally learn and optimally taking information um, and feel more relaxed, it actually removes anxiety. Um, so that's a very good tip for you there. Now, moving on again, anxiety hack uh, number four is about visualization. Um, because if you can visualize with enough specificity and clarity, the mind, the unconscious mind, the part of the mind that runs the body doesn't actually know the difference between what's real and what's not real. A bit like um, if you've ever had a real vivid dream and you wake up and you're not quite sure if it really happened or not. Um, so the mind is exceptionally clever. It doesn't know. So you can actually consciously trick it into thinking that you've already had major success with your exams. So a little tip here, with as much detail as you can in your mind, Go out into the future, imagine as much as you can using all your five senses. So um, seeing what you can see, hearing what you can hear, even uh, noticing any tastes or smells that are present and really feeling those feelings as if you've already got the actual grades um, and the successes that you want. Maybe even that you've actually already finished university uh, and you've got the job that you want, um, the career that you want, the life that you want. Go for it. Whatever you really want, visualize it with as much detail and clarity as you can and you can actually create that to happen again this is something I really explain in my book in the latter chapters but just as a tip go for it with visualization there and that will really help it also helps to remove anxiety because you've already gone out there and you've already done it so you know what you can do and you're imprinting this into your mind okay the last tip is about your time and your space because um I know at this particular time with Corona, we're all um, locked in and you may have a really busy household, lots of brothers and sisters, pets, you name it, parents um, bothering you. So I know you'll be in your rooms and I was a teenager once and I know how messy rooms can get with clothes everywhere, food everywhere. I mean, I used to have plates under the bed. I had a drawer in my desk full of chocolate crisps, microchips, God knows what I had um, in the drawer. But I had a very fat cat who used to sit at my desk drawer um, waiting for me to open it. So that's how bad that was. Um, however, when I did get round to actually tidying my room, I know how much clarity it gives you and how much easier it is to study and how much it can reduce anxiety. So it's really important to have a clean, airy space. So get the window open, get some oxygen in, um, some light um, and really make it nice. So, you know, scented candles, um, even incense, get your brainwave music on in the background while you're studying. So it lowers your brainwaves and automatically reduces anxiety. Also let people know that that's your space. That's your time. Don't disturb you when you're in it. Um, now about time as well, it's important to come away from studying. We work best in 20 minutes blocks. Um, so concentrated periods of time will also help reduce anxiety. But have your time to go out and do fun stuff. You still need to do um, activity and have a laugh because that generates feel good chemicals. So um, get some comedy on, go out running, go out cycling. Um, as much as you can do of the things that give you joy, go and meditate, have your time, have your space, um, but have that fun because the more you can laugh, the more you can exercise and do activity, the more you generate feel good chemicals, um, which will always help you to dilute the um, adrenaline and cortisol, the chemicals that cause anxiety and too much of them in your system. You need to dilute them by feel good, happy chemicals. And as I said, they are generated from from laughing, from activity, from exercise. So go out, give yourself um, that 
time and that space and make your room and your study area really um, just nice for you um, and let everybody know when you're there that's your time um, and that's really important so guys that's the um, five tips if you practice those and you get into the habit of those you will reduce or remove which is the idea, your anxiety. So the rest is up to you, how much you do that and how much you concentrate. Now, our next thing we'll be looking at is about um, isolation and anxiety being away from your actual peer group. So we'll be looking at all that. And I very much look forward to seeing you then. In the meantime, um, have a great time and keep practicing everything and give yourself that um, fun space and time as well.